Alright, uh, this is a vid of <coughs> doing some testing with uh, some multi-core inductors or transformers. Um, this one, I have three of the same type of uh, cores. I'm not sure what uh, their value is or anything. They're, they were choke coils in an amplifier. Um, what I have is <coughs> 14 turns of 26 gauge here on the outside, here on the outside, and here on the outside. Uh, and then they're put into series. And we have coming out of the amp to that one, it loops around, comes over here, and it's hooked up to an 8 ohm resistor. This is a non inductive uh, resistor from Radio Shack, uh, 20 watts. <coughs> and I decided to. Uh, use the resistor while I'm going to use this amp. It's a sound stream from early 90s, um, supposedly Class A, uh, sure does sound good, uh, but it's 100 watts and we have it bridged for 8 ohms uh, with switches on the bottom. I have a 12 amp hour, 12 volt battery here, and then we just have a remote turn on here so I can easily turn off the amp. Um, so what we're doing, we're trying to f find out, you know, if this configuration works. In here, we have a secondary, and those two wires come over here to a light bulb. Um, I can't remember what this light bulb was. I just have, I have a few different voltages of these around, and I still have to try some. But whatever one I put in here, the thing is going up to 22 volts AC. So it could be a 10 volt, could be a 5 volt, I don't know. Um, I'm going to find out. Uh, okay, we don't have any. We're reading across the light bulb here with the meter in AC. Then up here, we have my laptop with a little signal generator. And we got it at 3000 hertz. It's going to do a sweep to 10,000 hertz. And I just picked this area because it seems to uh, run it a little bit better. So I'll we'll come down here. And I'm going to just run the sweep. I'm going to click on it, and you can watch the light. Now, the picture, the, the camera might not be picking it up. I don't know if you guys can hear the high-frequency pitch when it runs. Let me see if we can hear it. It does a little flicker in there, and there's... A couple of frequencies that I have to hit kind of accurately, and I'm, I'm working on that right now. Um, but that was a sweep from, and it takes uh, five seconds for the duration of the sweep. Um, but what I found interesting is this amplifier, uh, I measured the sweep across this resistor. Actually, uh, let's do a measurement across here, and then we'll measure that one. Uh, we're going to set this up for minimum, maximum. Okay. We're going to sweep. Maximum 22.08 volts. Um, I, I don't believe I'm driving the amplifier all the way. Uh, bridged into 8 ohms, it's going to be a little bit higher voltage than that because if it was 20 volts into a 4 ohm speaker, you know, if the impedance was around that area, you'd have 100 watts. But anyway, I, what I really found interesting while doing this is I, I, I used this resistor to limit what was going on over here and also give a limit to, you know, maximum minimum load that the, uh, I guess it would be maximum load, but minimum impedance uh, to the amplifier for 8 ohms, but I have my primary in series with that, and I'm still lighting this bulb. Um, I find that pretty interesting, because there's probably not much voltage across the primary of the transformer. Alright, now we're going to set this up for minimum maximum again 
except we're going to go over here. You know, just from, we're just going for the hot peak result here. It's nothing special. Uh, we're going to go across the resistor. This amps gets warm. Uh, when you're not driving, it runs about 3 amps, and it, it gets warm all by itself. Class A, I guess. But uh, if you can ever buy one on eBay, awesome amplifier. Um, okay, we're going to hit the minimum maximum on here. And we're going to do the same sweep. Twelve point five three. Let me make sure that's bright. Twelve point five three across the resistor. Hmm. I would think it would be more. I, I'm just putting this together now and trying this stuff. Honestly, um, it's now I do have more windings on the center. We only have fourteen turns out here. Um, I'm going to have to recount these because I can't remember what they were. I, I had it down the other day, but I was disappointed with the results I was getting from this in ways that I was testing it, so I sort of ignored it and I forgot about it. Um, but they shouldn't be that hard to count, even if I have to redo the windings. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool uh, that the primary on those activated the secondary to light this bulb to 22 volts. I had 27 volts before I did a little bit of testing before I did the vid. Otherwise, what is there to show if I don't know what's going on at all? Um, I had up to 27 volts. Um, let me disconnect this amplifier. She's warm. I got a couple of these batteries, and I just, after a test, I just take this one and swap out the other one, throw the other one on the charger. But so far, it seems pretty good. Um, I know that my impedance is probably going to be very low with just this many turns on this thing. So I, I didn't want to try uh, just applying 120 volts to it or anything like that. So I just figured this would be a, a better way to go about it. But if I can get these down to 8 ohms... Three uh, uh, be eight divided by three, so whatever that would be here, and on each one, then I can hook it up directly to the amp and all the power. This resistor gets warm during testing. Uh, I did some 20 second sweeps, and and she gets warm enough that I went. If I went down here to just move something, I was like, ooh. Uh, but very interesting testing. Um, I'm really liking this. Uh, I'm gonna do some paperwork on this one um, as this test is right here uh, maybe do some uh, different frequencies and find out if there is any peaks in there if you noticed um, this flashes through through the sweep and there's either a dip there or a high spot and I've been finding different ones but that one seems to be a big one I haven't found that one yet I'm working on it um, but very cool. The multi core inductors. Alright, I'll let you know what I'm going to do next. Thanks.